How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to back up your iPhone to your computer, which is the best way to save all your data and all your files for free. Because as you know, iCloud backups are paid since you need to pay for that extra storage, you need to subscribe and then you need to pay a monthly fee and not everybody wants to do that, right? A lot of people just want to save their files for free. So today I'm going to show you how to do exactly that how to back up your iPhone to your computer. And the coolest thing about this video is that it's completely universal. So it works with any and all iPhone models and any computer that you may have, meaning that this method is compatible with Mac and with Windows PC as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing to keep in mind is if you're gonna do this on a Mac, you don't need to download anything. But if you're doing this on a PC, you do need to download iTunes. Maybe you already have iTunes, but if you don't, I'm gonna have a link in the description, a direct link, so you can click, download, and install iTunes on your PC right now, because you need it to perform the backup, all right? So, now that we're all ready, let's begin. The first thing you gotta do is get a cable, a normal lightning cable, and then you're gonna plug in one end to the computer and the other end to your iPhone. Make sure to plug it in while your iPhone is unlocked. It'll, it'll make everything much easier. So then just plug it in, make sure it's charging. And then as you can see, my computer has already recognized my iPhone. It's talking about a software update, but I don't really need to update for that. So I'm gonna say not now, but if you wanna update, you can go ahead and update it, no problem, all right? Now, if you're doing this on a newer Mac, and if you're updated to the latest versions of macOS, you're gonna do this process through Finder. So click on Finder, and then under Locations, your iPhone. And then let it load. You can enlarge this, uh, the size of the window if you want to, and then we're gonna do everything from this page. We're gonna do everything from here. It's super easy, and I'm gonna call this screen the iPhone information screen, okay? So this is where you see all the info about your iPhone. So this is for the latest Macs uh, that will do this through Finder. Now, if you're doing this on an older Mac, if you're outdated and you're doing an older Mac, or if you're doing this on a PC, you're gonna use iTunes for this, okay? For both older Mac and Windows, we're gonna do it through iTunes. And we need to get on this very same screen, on this very same iPhone information screen, as I mentioned. And in order to do that, and I'm gonna put it on the screen right now, you're gonna plug in your iPhone and then open up iTunes if it doesn't open up automatically. And then you're gonna click on the little iPhone icon. As you can see on the screen, the little iPhone icon. Click there, and then you're gonna see a screen very similar to this, extremely similar to this. If for some reason you don't see the little iPhone icon, maybe you need to authorize the computer. In order to do that, all you gotta do is click on account right there at the top, okay, look uh, on your computer, on mine, we won't see, but on your computer, right there at the top bar, look for account and then click on account and then authorizations and then authorize this computer, all right? And I'm gonna put it on the screen, all the steps, and then you can follow from there. Maybe you need to put your Apple ID just to make sure your computer is authorized. Keep in mind that you just gotta do it this one time. All right, so after authorizing, you will see the little iPhone icon and then you're ready to click on it and go to this very same screen. And now that we're all on this page, all on the same page on the same screen, we can get started because right here, you can see that here is where we can manage. As you can see, I personally use iCloud. So as you can see, under backups, you can see back up your most important data on iPhone to iCloud, that's an option. But I have this option to back up all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac, and that's exactly what we want. So you can click here on backups and then back up to the Mac. It may say Windows, it may say PC, depending on the machine you're using. And then as easy as that, you can click on backup now. And then it'll start backing up your iPhone. As you can see here, there's this, this little progress bar. If you're doing this on iTunes, the bar may be right there at the top. But again, it's all extremely sim uh, similar. It's pretty identical on all devices, right? So now let it do its thing. It may take a while. Let's just wait. A few things that are super important on computer backups that I have to tell you is 
if you choose to back up your iPhone and all of its data to your computer, you gotta make sure that one, your computer has enough storage. If it doesn't have enough storage, it just can't, all right? It just won't be able to back it up to the computer. That's one thing. And also, make please keep in mind that all the information will be stored on the computer. Uh, it's pretty obvious, but it's important that I point this out. So if there's a problem with this computer, if it breaks down, uh, if it dies, if it, got, it gets stolen, if anything happens to this computer, you don't have a backup anymore. This is a local backup. So that's the only disadvantage of this method is uh, that you need to have enough local storage and also that, the, that, that all the data will be linked to this device. You won't be able to recover if something happens to your computer. So keep in mind, this is super important. If you use iCloud, on the other hand, it's in the cloud. So you're not really strained, you're not really uh, dependent on one device. That's the only drawback of this process. But again, it's free. And so after a few minutes, we're done. The progress bar has finished. And we can see here, last backup to this Mac today at 5.32. As I said on yours, it may say to this PC. That's it, guys. That's literally it. Now we have all of our files, all of our data from the this iPhone in this computer. And we're ready. We're ready to go for free. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out so, so much. On top of that, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video like this one and more. And also, please make sure to hit the comment box down below and let me know what you thought about the video, the tutorial, the channel as a whole. I always do appreciate your feedback, right? So that's it. And I'll see you in a few days as usual. Bye-bye.